Yo ho, what's up guys, new video talking about the um, SW ranking tool. Um, it is mainly based for mobile. I know that mobile is not that common for like, or let's say a mobile app is, it, it does happen in Europe, but there the market for it is less. This is made by a couple of, of people from China and therefore the it's fully like mobile optimized and not as much like PC optimized because in in Asia in general, I guess, but mainly in China, everything like everything is like web apps and that kind of stuff for mainly mobile. So that's what we're having here. So I'm just going to show you a bunch of things that I really like about this uh, website. A few things that I don't like as much, but just going to be like an honest opinion. And I think this shit is actually really cool. So uh, I'll put the link in the description um, as well in the video. And I'll also put like a link to their Discord. So just gonna go over like the bunch of things that are pretty cool so first of all like very standard like you create an account you, you blah 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 thing which you do have to keep in mind is that you build a deck and with building the deck you can actually um these units you can take later for like your drafting and that kind of stuff because besides just being like a tool that actually knows um the the rates and that kind of stuff it has like a bunch of other factors as well so how this simply works is I think your primary is like 100% value, your substance are like 90% value, and your account is like 80% value. I actually have pretty close contact with the guy that, or one of the guys that made this. So um, if there's anything you want like changed or things, you can ask that in the Discord, of course, but you can also leave it in the comments here. If there's anything pretty good, I could like direct it to them. I gave like a lot of feedback on this website like throughout the making process. Um, so. This was what I like to do for work, but um, yeah, this in this case, it's just like, uh, it, it's pretty cool for like the, the community to have, to have a tool like this. So first of all, thing that's very useful is they show like the cutoff. They could actually make something which I think, no, 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 they shouldn't make that. If, because they could make a, they, they use a lot of machine learning and modeling like that to uh, predict whatever like, things are happening they could very easily predict what the season uh 20 cutoff will be but the moment they do that everyone's going to be one point above that and therefore you would drive up the rank by crazy so now to think of that no don't do that don't do that you're gonna drive up the ranks by crazy <laughs> because everyone's going to be like a few points above that and then it's it pops up even further and then people are going to be a few points above that it's the same reason why i don't really like i can easily predict like the the cutoffs pretty easily but the moment i make a video of that and say like the actual pre uh cutoffs everyone is going to be like five points above that and then yeah you just push up the cutoff by a lot but here you can actually show like the current cutoff which is i would say pretty dope so then we have a bunch of things which is kind of weird in my opinion some of the features are at the bottom wait my logo is in front of it logo be gone um some of the features are at the bottom then you click on that and you go from there and some of them are within like the home screen, but not everything that is here on the home screen is here at the bottom as well. For example, player list is not there. Ranking, I'm not sure where it goes to. What is ranking? Oh, that one is also not at the bottom. That's, I guess, like the whole ranking and everything. Where am I? I'm at, I'm at rank seven. Wait, what's the highest win rate right now? You can check that shit too. Uh, how to play is the highest and then this guy is the highest. And I guess we are the biggest slackers. Like how to play and I are like the biggest slackers in the top 10 right now. This guy is also a big slacker. What is this guy using? So yeah, you can just click through like player information and that kind of stuff. What kind of stuff he's using. He's an LD spammer, right? He's he, he got to be an LD spammer. No, he's actually using Cadiz and, um, and Bella. Interesting one. Interesting. Playing Himiko. Wow, he's using Chloe. Interesting. Interesting. Weird thing is, do you see on this thing if you act who won? No, you don't. That's strange. I think this this thing should show like who won and who didn't. That's that's something that's still missing. I also would like it that if you click on a unit right here, you would go to the statistics of a unit. So those are like it's still like in development, but those are like a few things that would be pretty cool. The also an issue is uh, since it's mobile optimized, I can't go for right mouse click and then. Um, open it in a new tab or like control click and open it in a new tab because it's too mobile focused and that kind of sucks in my opinion because it would be pretty cool to just say okay i just open like three of those with like control clicking but that doesn't work because it's just mobile focused so we have that wait how many matches is possible to play Jin Yao played over 2000 matches already the man crazy who played the least matches 260 <laughs> wait am i top slacker pink right is top slacker I'm also pretty high on the slacking list, I guess. 
So yeah, you can even go back for like other rankings. Wait, how far does this go back? Season 15. Wait, season 15 I got... Yeah, boy. A season 15 rank. That was uh, that one was uh, pretty dope. I had a crazy win rate for the amount of matches I played. But I think this was the last season before uh, they changed like the point system and that kind of stuff. So okay, let's talk a little bit more about the website. So we have the monster list, which actually goes to the statistics in this one. Uh, then we have, okay, that back button look, works really weird because if I click on monster list, I click on the back button here, it takes me back to another website. Ha! Okay, back buttons don't work apparently. Okay, it's not even just mobile focused, it's Apple focused. Fuck Apple. Um, so then we have replays. Replay takes you to the one over here, okay. Player lists takes you to, isn't that the same one as ranking? No, you can actually search for all players in here. Um... The thing which they also say is they're going to uh, make it that all of the SWC players are not going to be showing up in this system. And that's something I can really appreciate. Because otherwise it's just fairly easy to uh, snipe people, snipe their comps and all of that kind of jazz. So in this case that is made like a little bit more difficult. Charge is doing pretty badass right now. His LDs are popping off. And then we have the AI thing and more content are getting tuned and that kind of stuff. So yeah. Let's look at statistics uh, here again. The only thing I don't really like about this is you cannot... I cannot praise Ctrl F and I want to search on uh, Woosa. And thanks for the primer, by the way. I see it in the chat, but it doesn't pop up here in this thing because I'm recording a video right now, but appreciate it for the primer. So yeah, if that's something I would like to see that they show the name like somewhere here, or at least it's findable on like Ctrl F. Because otherwise you got to scroll like a maniac to find your units. But this shows quite some information, and the good thing about this, they also have pure G3 data. And G3 data ma uh, makes it that it only checks the data where a G3 player played against another G3 player. Which in current seasons is very much more common. We got another primer from Yasmuts, and sorry again, like I'm not showing the primers right now because I'm making a video. But... Uh, yeah, it shows like a whole bunch of information. I like this one pretty much for that. Also, if you tap on one of the units, it has a lot more in-depth information. So it shows like what are the good win rates against which units. So none is a hard count. Douglas, you can show like the weakness. It's stunned by like AWCC. You can see like, okay, it's uh, what is food for this unit. And you can say what is like really hard counted by. Also, what are like the godly teams, trash with, terrible. So yeah, not surprised about this combination. That's that's highly toxic. And then you can also see like top performers. So Obab is one of the top performers with this unit. If can you also if you select the units here, can you tap on this? No, that would be cool if you just like make it more clickable that you go from one unit to the other unit because you can actually tap on that unit. You can tap on the players here, but you can't tap on the unit. And if I play, if I press back button, it probably goes somewhere else. But for example, I can check this unit. Who's, who's, who's the best Oliver? Who's the best Oliver user? Yeah, let's go! 75% win rate on Oliver. Let's fucking go. Oliver OP. No, wait. I'm OP with Oliver. And all these others are lowering the win rate of Oliver. Wait. How, how's that for Gianna? I gotta be the highest with Gianna, right? I gotta be the highest Gianna spammer. It's not spammer necessarily, but it's the highest win rate. No, someone else had higher win rate than me with Gianna. No, okay. My Gianna sucks. My Gianna plays suck. Okay, I probably, probably... Sierra? Sierra highest? Yes. Easily. Easily highest. Lima highest. Lima highest. And then we stop showing off. Oh. Uh, Lima. Lima highest. By far. Above Xera and Diligent. Good players too. So yeah, that is pretty cool. So there's a whole bunch of information here. You can check replays, so you can check the replays. It's only pretty weird, in my opinion, that it doesn't show who won. Or does it somewhere? No, it didn't. You see the, like, the leader, the band, but why does it not show who won? Or is it this thing that shows that... Is that the thing that shows that wins? I guess it's this. Wait, let's look at the draft. Makes sense if this guy won, like... Pretty hard, I would... No, doesn't make too much sense. Dio always loses because he's in my guild. No, just joking. I think it's this icon that shows that who won or lost. Okay, so those are all a bunch of cool things that other websites also have. Now let's look at the thing that other websites do not have. So we have like this AI that predicts like what are the win rates of uh, people. The normal one um, is pretty boring. You fill in like one person and the other person. That one is not too cool. Um, the ones I like to use are either the challenge mode or the uh, AI analyst. So let's say we go for a challenge mode. 
And this is where um, you play like against another player in like uh, a certain rank. So this is G1, G2, this is G3. So it's actually playing against another player. Um, well, the AI playing like with a box of another player. The only thing I'm not sure I figured out at some point that if you play for G3, the G3 uh, AI knows which one you are banning. So he places his ban based on that and therefore has a higher win rate. So that's, in my opinion, I'm not sure if they removed that, but that's pretty bullshit because I win a lot of matches in like the, the, the ban phase. So if I go for G1, okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, we go simple Sierra Gianna, let's go. It's pretty easy to like fill, uh, put all of these units in. Okay, this, this could be annoying, this could be annoying. We'll probably go something like this. And uh, where is my sick math? Sick math. Where are you at? Oh, here. I'm blind. Huh. So with this, you can actually, this thing is predicting. Oh, okay, and apparently, yeah, that happens sometimes. Let's just reset it. It happens sometimes. I'm not entirely sure what that error was. Still, a lot of the messages are still in Chinese, so I'm not entirely sure what's going wrong. But it happens sometimes that if it cannot find, like, any answer. So this thing is actually drafting legit. Like, I'm not going to lie. This thing is actually not drafting potato. Like these are pretty good counters into whatever I'm bringing here right now, but let's let's add that up. Like I can, I can bring Gucci units too, no worries. And then it goes for Rika and that. Pretty interesting. So I have a few options: ban out this, keep these in, fuck that up. Um, hmm, what's the best way of doing that? I would probably go for Nana, ban out you, and then you actually see. Okay, then you have the lead picker. And I guess we go for an attack lead. Why not? Why not? So I have an 81.50% win rate. So it actually shows like the win rate. Of course, it doesn't mean that this guy is going to lose 100%, but these are just like the odds of winning. So with that, you can go for like, you can actually test, like play a lot of matches without actually having to do anything else than just pick and ban. And you can just start spamming pick and ban. And you can actually learn pretty good here to pick and ban because... This thing is going to like pick hard counters to you. Like for example, let's say I pull in a uh, Diana and I pull in like another wind unit, which is most like, let's say I pull in these two, he's probably gonna go and tear something. Exactly right. So this thing is actually drafting like fucking legit. So that's, that's something that's pretty cool. You can really, yeah, you can really learn how to draft on this shit. And all of these units that you have right here are just based on like the thing you have in your own deck. Uh, another thing you can use is the AI analysis, which I think, in my opinion, should be made a little bit slower because some people might use this to do this during a live match. I also think, like, if they just make it a little bit slower on, like, the response time for everything, then it's not an issue. So you can actually say, like, okay, first pick against second pick. Let's see, let, let, let's see what I should do against, like, the super annoying uh, picks that are out there right now. So what is fucking annoying right now is a Riley plus a Nana into a Ragdoll later. So let's say I go into this. It takes a little bit. I think if I make it a little bit longer, it makes it too difficult to actually go for it. So it says like, okay, spam Gianna and Gianna plus something. You can also check like, okay, what are other win rates? Um, but in this case, I'm still pretty Gucci to just say like Gianna, Molly, Molly, I wouldn't be too sure of. Um, it's also, it's a suggestion rather than like, these two are the best option. No, it's more of a suggestion rather than like, this is the thing to go for. So in this case, I would probably go for, wait, what is the Lima pick? Lima's over there. So let's say I would go for a Lima pick. And then let's say he goes Ragdoll plus Juno, which is pretty common into what I'm drafting here on the left. And therefore you can see, okay, I still have pretty decent win rates with those units, for example. So let's actually see if we draft in those two. And then what's the most annoying thing that this guy can draft into this shit right now? Let's say he has a Jaeger too. We go for an El Mimo draft. We go for a Jaeger. Then this will actually show like, okay, I pretty much hard lost this draft because everything I ban is like below 50. So let's say he ba bans out that. And these are like the odds of being banned. So this, the when is I think a little bit of a bad translation. This is like the odds of getting banned. So this is like 46% chance that the Sargon is banned, 41% chance that Oliver is banned. Um, and then if that happens, if I ban Ragdoll, this is my win rate. If this happens, I ban Ragdoll, that's my win rate. If this happens, I ban Ragdoll, that's my win rate, and so forth. So in this case, I think the best odds are banning the Ragdoll. Uh, it doesn't even show like uh, 
it, you cannot click on the ragdoll right now. So it's pretty much game over right now and it shows from there. So this is actually something you can use to analyze your drafting. Um, and I think this is pretty cool. So you can also start uh, like go back. Okay, let's say in we have the same draft, but let's say I don't put in Lima, but I put in something else that may be a little bit more flexible or a little bit different or something like that. So that is pretty cool. And then, yeah, I really recommend people, if you want to learn drafting, play this challenger mode, man. Play, like, fill your, fill your box with stuff, play this challenger mode. And it's actually pretty quick to just play matches in general. So let's go for, let's say this and this. He probably adds up with like a Douglas, a Tyrus, that kind of Gucci stuff. We have that, not a big deal, not a big deal. Let's go for a Lima in there. No, wait, I shouldn't have picked Lima. I should have picked Balfrick in here. Wolfric would have fucked this team up, like, heavily. Okay, in this case, I would probably ban out you, and I will ban the shit out of Antares. So, mm, would I win this? I'm not entirely sure. I think I have decent odds, but that's because of room quality. Okay, there. So... Yeah, that's uh, the, it. Also, it doesn't really take into account room quality. I think I would have won that match, but it was not the best of drafts. So okay, let's go into this. I wouldn't pick that into a ragdoll. I would probably steal like this unit pretty early into a ragdoll. Not gonna lie. Um, let's add in Molly here. Molly's pretty nice against all three, or well, mainly against these two. Oh, and he goes for like that's where you see like this AI. This AI fucking smart. Like if you put a G one or G three, doesn't really matter. But this AI is smart, like picking these kind of units, that makes a lot of sense. So what is a good pick into this right now? <laughs> you could go for like Diana or something, that's, a, that's an option. But I kind of also need strippers. I could also go, let's say I go to Bolvrik over here, where's my Bolvrik? Bolvrik. And then we remove this, and then he has no armor breaks, he removes that. I feel like these two, they, they have to hold back on their skills. Therefore, you can fuck him up by Wolfric, but still, not the, not the best of drafts. Not the best of drafts. And I kind of agree with, like, the win rate here. Like, the, the odds for the second team winning here is actually higher. Is it possible to turn off the cool time? Now, the funny thing is, if you uh, play this, let's say we wait out the cool time. It doesn't do shit. How the hell does it calculate the odds? It's, uh, um, you can look it up. It's called machine learning and deep learning. And that's where you have, like, you put a lot of data into um, a machine that is going to calculate odds based on, like, a lot of variables and values. And then, based on that, at some point, you can make a prediction. That's the same thing, like, how they do image recognition. That's the same thing. It's the same kind of model that predicts, like, okay, what is this going to be? So, yeah, the countdowner is at zero. Nothing happens. It really, it really doesn't matter. I can still fill this in. It's actually a lot of values. This thing is working with a lot of values. So this is legit, not just like a small website doing like a few things. No, there's like a heavy system like calculating all of this shit. So based on that, they also have like some surfaces running, which are pretty hefty and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do for like, they, they have like a sort of payment wall somewhere. But I think if I'm not mistaken, they're going to make it like just as a donation kind of based thing. So... If you guys really like this, you can decide to like um, calculate that kind of stuff. Also, it says that the uh, during the SWC days, the um, AI analyst will be disabled. So I'm not sure if they disable all features for AI. I think they should just disable like maybe the normal one and the AI one, the challenge one doesn't really matter for that kind of stuff. Because, yeah, I, I think I, I really appreciated that they do that kind of stuff. But this is really big in like the Chinese community. So yeah, I just want to show this website and let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. If it's too OP, if it's not OP and check it out because I think this is pretty legit where like, especially the challenge mode, fill in your whole box with all of your units and you can start learning to draft. Like it literally just checks if you draft properly. Maybe you have a bunch of shit units and they can go into like the uh, AI analysis and you can see like, okay, I'm getting like, I'm picking a lot of like Savannah and I get Leoed all the time. What would make the most sense? Let's say I always like every time I go in, I go for like I, my, my Savannah is my best ruined unit, but I always fucking get Leo plus Ragdoll. What, what is my best choice of going for second and third pick?
So that kind of stuff. Now it doesn't calculate rune efficiency, it doesn't calculate artifact efficiency, it's purely unit based. Based on whatever has been seen by previous matches with similar comps or the same comp or anything like that. So it's literally cal like it's calculating matches, like a setups of teams against each other, but also individual units against each other. And for example, a few things that this thing doesn't really pick up sometimes is what if there is a Douglas that is uh, potentially killing the whole team and nothing counters the Douglas? Then it's still looking at the odds of Douglas winning against individual units rather than looking at the whole team, that the whole team has no odds of killing Douglas. So therefore you have some interactions where the AI is not really smart enough yet to see like, okay, um, the Douglas is 100% going to kill this whole fucking team. So yeah, is this the reason all Chinese uh, players have the emblem on the profile picture? Exactly. They are working. They they are like have close contact with these guys. So they have like a whole bunch of like uh, testing uh, people. Uh, most of them are like Chinese. Like the people that made all of this stuff are also Chinese. So yeah, here you can see like okay, we go into this, but then he fucks me up with like a Verd and a Mali, and then I'm still gonna lose this one. I'm still gonna lose this one. Wait, it says if I go these two. I have over 100%. It's kind of odd to have over 100%. But wait, what can I do here to fucking up that much that these are all bad? Wait, let's go see them. Not sure if that's going to work, but... Mm, see them. Okay, so it's still pretty good odds for this team fighting on the, against this. Not entirely sure about that, but... Well, the Tessarium makes it pretty good, I guess. Actually, this team is pretty good, not gonna lie. So, Tessarium is most likely banned. And I think I would ban out Sion, like, no matter what. But fighting these four? Pretty deadly. I'm not sure if these win rates are that accurate. I'm not sure if these win rates are that accurate. So, yeah, just something to show. I'm gonna end the video here. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, anything, leave those in the comments down below.